Hi, I am Dr. Sakim Mansoor, and today I will discuss with you the botanial deformity. And uh, you could see this. This is the deformity you could see. And the lien appears as a flexion deformity of the proximal interphalangeal giant, right? This is the proximal interphalangeal giant, and this is in flexion. This is, you could see this. This is proximal interphalangeal giant. And extension of the distal interphalangeal giant. This is the distal interphalangeal giant, and it is extended. It is due to the stretching or interruption of the central slip of the extensor tendon where it gets inserted into the base of the middle phalanx. We'll show you the picture for that as well. Lateral slips get separated and head of the proximal phalanx thrust through the gap like a button through the buttonhole. Here you could see this. This is the rupture of the tendon, the central slip, and this is the popping of the um, uh, proximal phalanx out of this uh, uh, ruptured uh, part and uh, here you could see this paradoxically um, uh, you know this um, English speakers call it a botanier deformity the French term it is the la button hole here you could see again is this is number a is the when the middle slip of the extensor tendon first ruptures there is no more than an inability to extend proximal interphalangeal joint and you could see this now gradually the lateral slips slide volarwards that is towards the palmar side the knuckle uh, pops through the buttonhole and the distal interphalangeal joint is pulled into hyperextension. Here you could see this is the hyperextension. Uh, this is how it, uh, the C picture, how it appears clinically. And you could see this. This is the extensor expansion. This is the central tendon attached to the middle phalanx base of it. And this is the lateral slips going and merging now and attached to the proximal phalanx base, basal sides. So the causes, the common causes are the rheumatoid disease or direct trauma. At first, the deformity is minor and passively correctable. Later on, soft tissues get contracted, producing flexed flexion of the proximal and the hyperextension of the distal interphalangeal joint. You could see this as well again, right? You could see this. This is the flexion. This is the hyperextension. <laughs> So early diagnosis of the botanier deformity is very important. A forthcoming deformity can be assumed in anyone with tenderness or a cut over the dorsum of the proximal interphalangeal joint, especially when they are unable to actively extend interphalangeal joint with metacarpophalangeal joints and wrist flexed. In early post-traumatic case splinting of the PIP or the proximal interphalangeal joint is in a full extension for six weeks usually causes healing. Distal interphalangeal joint must be moved passively to avoid the lateral bands from sticking. Open injuries of the central slip must be repaired with the joint protected by the K wire for three weeks. Right and uh, here you could see this. Again, in later cases when joint is still passively correctable, several operations have been designed which suggest that none is too dependable, right? The simplest and perhaps most successful technique is to divide extensor tendon just proximal to its insertion into the distal phalanx. Here you could see this. This is the a central tendon. He, you could see this. This is the central tendon. We divide it here near its uh, insertion into the middle phalanx <clears throat> and this permits extensor mechanism to move proximally thus increasing proximal interphalangeal extension and decreasing distal interphalangeal joint extension long standing fixed deformities are exceedingly difficult to correct and can be better left alone you could see again this is the botanial deformity looking like that right the flexion and extension This is, you could see this, the extensor mechanism explained a bit. So causes continue. Paternal deformity is usually a result of trauma. This can be a powerful blow to the dorsal side of a flexed middle joint of a finger, resulting in rupture of the central slip or fracture of the bone where the central slip connects the middle bone of the finger, the middle phalanx. 
I I have um, described you that uh, with a picture a dislocation of the middle phalanx towards bottom of the finger causing central slip to tear off of the bone so other causes laceration on the top of the finger can cut the central slip resulting in the same effect that here appears as a button hole the button air in french therefore the name of the condition i told you already in some instances the bone can pop through the opening that also has been um, taught and you could see this i've discussed with you this is the bone and this is popping through the that button created this is the characteristic appearance of the botanier deformity botanier deformities can also be due to arthritis as told you already rheumatoid arthritis usually autoimmune arthritis these diseases destroy the soft tissues and weaken the central slip symptoms signs of the botanier deformity may develop instantly after an injury to finger or can in shoe a week to one week to numerous weeks later the finger the proximal interphalangeal joint cannot be extended and the fingertip cannot be flexed resulting in this distinctive distinctive deformity the botanier swelling and pain take place over the top of the proximal interphalangeal joint so doctor examination as a botanier deformity is one of numerous injuries that result from a jammed finger one must see a doctor for an suitable diagnosis and treatment the doctor will examine fingers and the hand ask you to extend the affected finger and flex the uh, fingertip may order x rays to detect any broken bones attached to the central slip of the tendon is likely to carry doctor is likely to carry out the allison test which precisely identifies the central slip insufficiently the test is carried out by bending the proximal interphalangeal joint of the affected finger to 90 degree then asking the patient to try to straighten it out against a resistance when doing this doctor will wiggle top tip of the finger to understand if it moves without difficulty if it moves with difficulty this is a sign of an injury to the central slip which implies a risk of botanier deformity so the treatment botanier deformity as a result of traumatic injury has to be treated promptly to help you preserve full range of motion rom in the finger that's a non surgical treatment first non surgical treatment is commonly preferred and may include splints a splint can be applied to the finger at the middle joint to extend it this keeps the ends of the tendon from separating as it gets healed it also permits a distal interphalangeal joint of the finger to flex whereas in the splint it is vital to work on bending the very tip of the finger to help keep the tendon of the finger gliding in correct position treatment continues if it is just an essential to wear the splint continuously for the recommended period of time typically 6 to 8 weeks if the finger accidentally gets bent at the middle joint while finger is out of the splint during treatment period may reverse the progress you have made as the period of immobilization finishes you may still have to wear splint during the night you could see this is the splint is a commercial splint used in treating botanier deformity to keep the finger straight during healing exercises your physician can recommend stretching exercises to enhance the strength and flexibility in fingers when your finger is in splint exercises will focus on the distal interphalangeal joint which must be flexed throughout the day protection if you play sports you are required to wear protective splinting or taping for some weeks after the splint is removed patients who develop botanier deformity as a result of arthritis can be treated with oral medication or corticosteroid injections besides splitting and surgical treatment the preferred this is no the final treatment the preferred way of treatment of botanier deformity is non surgical while surgery remains an option in some cases such as when the deformity is a result of the rheumatoid arthritis will do surgery then the tendon gets severed or cut this is surgical treatment is needed a big 
bone fragment is displaced from its normal position, the disease does not get better with splinting. These are four causes where we have to do uh, surgery. Surgery can decrease pain and ameliorate function, but it may not be able to fully correct the deformity and make finger appear normal. If the deformity is left untreated for uh, over three weeks, it becomes very difficult to treat, right? So early treatment is to be sought out. Surgery, what is surgery? It includes to put a dislocated proximal interphalangeal joint back in place and then placing a temporary pin cross joint to keep it straight for a period of six to eight weeks, about two months, to repair an evulsed central slip that has become detached from the middle phalanx by reattaching it to bone with an anchor to stitch together a cut or uh, central slip to fix a broken piece of middle phalanx with central slip attached to it, it by using pins or plates or screws. Fifth, to create a new central slip by using one of the tendon slips that flexes proximal interphalangeal joint as a graft to release terminal tendon of the affected finger where it connects to distal phalanx to help in relieving hyperextension of the distal interphalangeal joint. So what are the outcomes? So finally, we have to discuss the outcomes of the various treatments. And uh, let's see what is more successful. Outcomes for managing botany deformity vary depending on treatment opted, time to treatment, and each person's individual anatomy and injury. Early treatment results are very better. So if you believe you have a finger injury, it is imperative to immediately schedule an appointment with a hand surgeon and traumatic injuries. What will you do there in the traumatic injuries that treat it either non-surgically or surgically within a span of three weeks of injury, they tend to respond well. Chronic injuries and chronic deformities, which are a result of rheumatological uh, conditions, are much harder to treat, and the outcomes are unpredictable. So, thank you very much. Uh, so, stay tuned for more finger deformities. Three are completed now. So, we have to complete the four finger deformities uh, with you in my this series of clinical of the upper limb. So, thank you very much. Stay tuned. Good luck.